ओके 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 सर ओके सो सर बिफोर वी मूव ऑन आई वुड लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक सो दिस ऑल फैकल्टीज आर फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल डिपार्टमेंट और एनी अदर डिपार्टमेंट इज देर ओके 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 सर दैट्स व्हाट आई वुड लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज यू नो दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट कॉमन टू ऑल डिपार्टमेंट ओके सो अबाउट अ रिसर्च प्रपोजल द द नेम प्रपोजल मींस सी इट नीड नॉट बी अ फंडर प्रोजेक्ट और इट नीड नॉट बी अ माय पर्सपेक्टिव इज लाइक इट नीड नॉट बी अ फॉर एग्जांपल सबमिटिंग टू एएसटी और आईएसआर और डीआरडी और एनीथिंग सो इट कैन बी अ वी कैन स्टार्ट इज लाइक यू नो इंटरनली फॉर इट कैन बी अ डिपार्टमेंट लेवल प्रपोजल प्रपोजल और इट कैन बी अ ग्रुप लेवल प्रपोजल इट कैन बी अ कॉलेज लेवल प्रपोजल और इट कैन बी अ uh external funding agencies or internal funding agencies or it can be a uh, i can say that uh, uh um, maybe for example uh, standard funding like dst asct and uh, domain specific funding agencies are available D dst ast will give funding for all department but uh, there are domain de uh, specific uh, uh, funding agencies are there for example uh if you are in the electrical domain electrical uh, field then you know you need you will have a certain for example uh ntpc like like uh, similar kind of uh, organizations are there they are there to fund fund for example cipri uh, cpri like that okay so many uh, funding agencies are there so similarly for the ece related for example uh, isro drdo and then uh, india do itself various labs are there each lab work on different different projects and also for in isro itself you have funding for all, almost most of the department uh, standard department for example electrical you have some certain uh, uh, proposals i mean requirements and you, um, uh, this one for example uh, uh, computer science you have a different projects and like that so uh, before we move on to the proposal writing and all that stuff so we need to understand why we go for proposal okay so uh, see we feel that one is maybe obviously that uh, all colleges has a requirement that okay faculty has to put some proposal right to any agency where you get it or not that is doesn't matter but still you know they are but uh, one way it is good one way it is bad because you know because um, one way the the good part is like when you start writing proposal you will have a practice of you know how to compile you know for example problem statement and uh, work summary and you know what is objectives for they are coming up with the objectives of the project and then the stuff so that will give us the some kind of you know a good exposure the negative part is like you know simply writing a proposal doesn't help because you know we need to have a background and also the uh, we need to have some work background because you know so that you know the evaluator can uh, evaluate and uh, you know sanction the funding that's how uh, it works because you know evaluator will always look for some kind of proof that evidence that okay we have done okay some good work in the past or you know you have good publications or the college is competent to have uh, you know uh, this and uh, or you know any organization that competent to have uh, you know yeah this got see the, it is like you know over a period of time this you know uh, this will build because you know for example iits they will uh, we cannot comment on them because you know they, they have i you know they have been doing research for so many years but uh, so the um, and those who are you know be, uh, those who are young colleges or you know young people then if you want to get into if you want to get into the funding then we have to struggle a lot okay so uh, my idea like you know uh, the funding should be for example uh initially we can start with a small funding for example the standard fundings for example uh, mod drops and you know aict itself you have you know without these things uh, build the facility in the uh, college or you know organ any organ especially college okay we, within the department we can uh, you know apply for mod drops or many things but uh, the one um, bad uh, there are good part as well as the bad part because you know for example uh a good part is like you know they are giving a lot of funding on that and then we are you know getting equipments but it is remain the negative part is it is remain unused that is a very uh, harmful thing because you know when we start using next time they will ask what what is the utilization you are doing with the equipments right whatever we have 
so uh, most of the time it is living in the bureau or somewhere so that doesn't matter so we have what we have to do is we have to showcase them that okay yeah we got the funding so and so funding and these equipments we procured and then with these equipment we could manage to do this many student projects and uh, this this is this has this has resulted in uh, the publications conference publications good conference publications or a good uh, journal paper like that so that will you know uh, make them okay yeah okay they, they have done something and so we can give them uh, con they will that will you know give them confidence so in order to do that we can start with a small small so when when, uh, when we are new to the proposal then what we can do is we can start with a department level proposal that you know we have a department funding and uh, we can collect some small amount of money 50 rupees or 100 rupees like then we can collect funding for that we need to write a proposal that okay what is the motive okay first we need to do is what is the problem statement we have to clearly define problem statement when we start defining the problem statement clearly that you know 50 uh, percent of our solutions are already met okay that's the key there key there uh, but, but coming up with the problem statement is the uh the, the 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 you know some tricky part because you know you need to understand um uh, what is for example there, there are three ways to do it look at it one is day to day life you are teaching some students and then you know you are getting into uh, means that point of time you are feel that okay there is a sort of gap here so how can how we can fill this for example so uh i think a few years ago there was a i think some good proposal or based on the outcome of the proposal they came up with some uh, the you know uh, learning see learning for example in NPIRL, it might have been a proposal only to the government that okay okay we are going to start with the NPIRL. so that's that's you know but, but what is the motivation so they will learn anyone can learn from anywhere um, with iit lectures so that's how kind of proposal they write okay next is that uh, when we start writing this kind of proposal, first we have to understand what is the problem statement. For example, simple example is we are always teaching Kirk of current law, old age law, and all that stuff. Okay, so um, we can come up with a proposal. There is a proposal available. Okay, we can can come up with a proposal that how we can teach these concepts in a unique way so that students will not forget in future as well. Okay, for example, uh, using uh, simulation tools or using a small kind of, you know, uh, uh, some kind of, uh, you know, experiments or something like that. If you can come up with a proposal that, okay, for example, education, there is a column called education. So in that proposal light, we can have a proposal like, for example, so we are going to uh, propose a new way of teaching of these subjects, for example, especially uh, the, 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 um you know for example standard formulas for example maxwell's equation and all that stuff okay so that is also a good proposal okay so with this uh, premise though so uh, first i think uh, this in this bottom line is so why we need to go for a proposal so how we can start with the proposal that's the bottom line here so with this we'll start with, so i have some content uh, i think we long ago i prepared and uh, so we have some introductions and from some of the funding agencies and uh, how we can find the research problems that is very important because you know getting a funding agency is no problem you can simply google it and then find out okay but how how we can come up with the research problems okay next is q and a channelizing the ideas towards the requirements so that is very important so first first finding the research problems how we can you know formulate and aggregate our ideas towards the you know um, that will you know uh, fulfill the requirements next is uh, how to write a proposal just just we will ask we'll have a, some kind of you know brainstorming there and a final by so uh, funding agencies perspective uh, there is a dst dst you know uh, you, dst has a various uh, you know uh, the as meaning various you know verticals for example uh, serb uh, science engineering and research board which has a core research grant scheme and many more research grant scheme. So CERB has a, so many grant schemes, okay, and uh, R&D infrastructure, and for example, and uh, you know how we can fist fist funding is there, where, where we can build the R&D infrastructure. For example, if you have a solid proposal, for example, TIFA core like that, we there it was there before, okay, solid proposal that we have potential to learn. For example. Um, first we need to defel, clearly define what is the problem statement objective of this proposal so the objective is to for example 
we have to build you know these colleges for example so liquid aid so and so place where we don't have any place to for example explore uh, this kind of concepts so we need to have funding to procure so certain equipments or softwares so that our students get uh, you know been, you know like hands on on that particular part and then you know they start uh, you know learning quickly and then you know that's how that's the meaning of this funding the most of these funding so one is thing is that engaging students and as well as the faculty in the uh, area of research uh, so that you know for example whatever they teach they feel and teach that's the or whatever they learn they feel and learn that's the ma major uh, you know objective okay maybe that should be the objective of the dst okay and also uh, enhancing the skill levels okay so uh, it has uh, so many schemes like inspire that is for the individuals okay those who are for example those who write uh, some proposal and then give it to them and then you know they can be a become a inspire fellow fellow and you know so many fellowships are available for example if you are having guideship you can you know um, you can uh, ask someone to some good guys you know uh, join under you and then you know they can apply for fellowships so that is also a sort of funding so that you know we can procure small small items there because you will have a contingency there okay so multiple items so that we can build our lab okay and a woman signed a scheme this is for the those women i think um, who got a break in the two years in their career they want to pursue research and so so many things are there okay this is for the different different departments so it is this may not hold good for for example core research grant hold good for all the departments but you know some of the uh, other things may not suit for some other department for example biomedical it will only suit for this biomedical but you know still we can apply for easy as well because you know we can just quote that okay we are going to build a for example drug delivery system uh, for the sugar patient no so uh, periodically uh, we need to deliver the drugs okay in the uh, you know vein or something like that we can set up the machine uh, we can fill the uh, that uh, you know insulin and then it will periodically inject that i uh, would first it will measure the uh, um, uh, you know sewer level and then you know it will just you know periodically uh, inject accordingly like that and all there are machines are available so like that if we can come up with some proposal that okay yeah this device can do support um, those who are not able to you know put syringe that is you know work, uh, dialysis is you know huge problem in our country so if we can come up with some proposal like for example um, because you know most of the person are not comfortable you know injecting the insulin in their body so we can come up with some small uh, simple method so that you know we can just come up with the injection mechanism or something like that okay next is uh, several several other funding agencies for example climate research uh, program and many many uh, funding research agencies are there you just you know i just got through uh, internet only okay so now it was you know prepared i think yeah, a while ago for example about five years ago uh, three or four or five three or four years ago but now you may have a plenty of fundings okay so you can just go and google it and then we can get it okay next is aact mary's famous thing is uh, mod ropes next is research promotion schemes i think it is the faculty who is working in the AST affiliated college, they have to apply this one and then you know get it done because you know based on the individual performance and also department performance, they may assign this to this. Okay, and the industry institute partnership shell where you know uh, we can tie up with some industry to collaborate in some um, kind of R&D institute R&D projects, and then you know you can collaborate with the R&D industries for the collaboration project collaborative project where we can get you know some kind of uh, funding from the government i mean you know funding agencies and also we can get some funding from the industry if you have a see this all boils down to one thing like so we need to have a such an environment so for example we have to create an environment where you know this core research is happening there we have, should be able to convince the uh, either industry or funding agencies that yeah we can do we will do we can do like that okay those things we have those confidence if the, once it is built based on the individual or based on the department environment or based on the college or whatever it may be once it is built the next it will follow okay that's how many colleges are you know evolved like anything okay next is csar has uh, so many research schemes uh, sponsored research schemes emirates scientist scheme these are all you know mostly individual uh, uh, related okay 
next you know we have a UGC has some funding agency very special this is for the universities which is affiliated to that grant you know next is ISRO respond which is famous because you know they just go to ISRO respond and uh, maybe we'll, after once we find time then last we will see DRDO, BRNS, IGA, IGCAR, NAL, National Aerospace, Department Automatic Energy, Atomic Energy, Biotechnology and Ocean Department so, and so on. So many departments are there. They are giving plenty of funding every year. Okay. So uh, first what we need to do is we have to go through this. Uh, uh, we need to have a framework. For example, in a department, for example, 15 staffs are there, 20 staffs are there. So some two, three staffs will have to take the responsibility and then, you know, for example, explore in the East, each department that, okay, whatever the funding agencies related to them, they have to go and search there. What is their problems? Their problems are already defined there. Some of the funding agencies, for example, ISRO, they define the problem clearly in their website. Okay. If you have a solution, you can just simply apply for that particular topic. Okay. Clearly defined in for the all the you know uh, departments for example it can be a civil or it can be a got some message am i audible okay 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 so uh, it can be a uh, you know civil department though they have a, a requirements it can be a mechanical department they have requirements electrical department or ECE e e or computer science, whoever it may be, just go to ESR or respond project uh, scheme, you know, just Google it and then you will go to that page. You have plenty of requirements which will help you to understand. They have given clearly what is their expectation? What is the introduction to the problem? And then what is their expectation? Everything is clearly defined there. We have to just adapt it. We have to write a solution. That's it. Okay. I similarly, DRDO has, for example, you know, before we approach any funding agency, except AACT, UGC, uh, okay. So that is all, you know, for example, we have to come up with some idea. So, uh, for example, we have to go through this, for example, either DRDO website or, you know, any, for example, I'm just uh, quoting a few examples, but, you know, whoever is the, for example, biomedical has a certain, several departments are working on that and uh, SICRI and uh, CSRI. So, so many people are working on that. So, biosensors like that. So first we need to go to that funding agency website and then understand what is the problem statement. If you are having problem statement, for example, I can tell you that whatever you have found in ISRO response, that may help you getting, you know, problems, get your funding from DST as well. So for DST, you can formulate the problem and then you can find, give a solution. They will offer you funding. All right. Uh, they are not going to, for example, uh, they will try for products, uh, you know, for productization but uh, still you know you can try so that's why i'm saying we have to, first step is to explore funding agency websites and then grab as much as possible prepare a slide and present to the uh, all other faculties or weekly basis or monthly basis that will definitely help you to get into you know uh, come up with some problem statement okay yeah we have some kind of grip on this particular topic so uh, we can propose some, you know, send some proposal. So that should be the first step that, you know, we have to go to all the funding agency that I think two or three staffs to have to take responsibility and then prepare a presentation. Okay, ISR response has these many problems, these many, this is the description of the problem. For so respect to the, maybe, you know, hardly you will find one or five to six problems per department. So we can come up with a final collate all the slides we can present to the, for example, core R&D director or, you know, anyone who is, you know, master in that. Then, or you can invite some industry people to, okay, so this, this is what we have requirements. So, please, please advise us some suggestion you can give me. Uh, like that, you can just ask industry uh, people. Then, they can come up with, okay, give you some solution on spot or they can, you know, by collaborative way, they can come up with the solutions. So, that's why the first step should be, we have to, you know explore all the websites and then find out gather all the problems as as many problems as possible department wise we have to segregate and then find our uh, department wise we have to collect finally you have to collate and then present into the forum uh, for example 50 faculty or 100 faculty like that then what will happen is see for example some funding need collaboration between interdisciplinary department for example 
uh, if you are using biosensor, right? There, chemical engineering uh, guys needed, electrical engineers, easy engineer. So all three together, we can how to work. So that way, uh, somebody can uh, come and say that, yeah, I have interest. So I think monthly basis, we can just practice this. It will definitely help in the, you know, getting funding because you know for example one staff may be very good in uh, mechanical part of the biosensor one staff may be very good in the you know uh, sensor networks like that one staff may be very good in the electrical so all together they will uh, give suggestions we have to note down all the suggestions and then that session you just formulate a statement uh, rephrase it and it will become a proposal that's the easiest way to get you know right to come up with the proposal Next is uh, funding agencies. So, so many are there. You can just, you know, go through that. Uh, yeah, these are some of the many, many funding agencies. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, okay. Other thing is like, for example, if you have uh, that, uh, not only see funding, not really meant for, you know, getting a project and then do it. Okay. The other thing is that you have to write up, we can write up funding to get, to sponsor your PhD work. For example, uh, CSAR fellowships, but that will be only for the full-time scholars. But uh, for the, you know, those who are already working in the research promotion scheme is there. So those who are already working there, uh, you know, in the as a faculty, they have a promotion schemes uh, for the faculty, especially women candidate, women faculties. They have so many fundings to support their research during the. Yes, please. Okay. It was across town. Okay. So you have funding. So to that will, how it will help is like, for example, you are anyway, you are getting money to pursue your research. Also, you are getting the contingency amount. With that, you can just collect, you know, procure small, small softwares or small, small, you know, equipments. That way we can build the department, you know, uh, do, uh, do active research. Okay. That's very easy to uh, go for. But, you know, getting a, Funding is initially it will be a struggle, but you know, once you, someone gets it, they can share their experience to others that, okay, this is how they, they, it works. Then, you know, once you start, for example, if you are getting two, three fundings, then you will become, you know, some kind of sort of familiar that, um, uh, but the, you have to go a systematic way. Okay. So next is, that's why I listed funding agencies first. Okay. Because, you know, funding agencies are the one who give you a lot of problems. They might have already uploaded the completed projects as well. Okay, there also you can get some ideas. Okay, how they come up with the risk proposal and how they formulated all that stuff. Okay, title of the project. With that title, you can just Google it and then find out, okay, what is the we are getting. So that's why, you know, uh, when you go to the funding agency website, you will get a plenty of things, to plenty of research problems itself. Where they, left. for example, somebody has done say X, X, Y, Z project, uh, you can just you know, personally contact them and then they where they went off you know they might have done something to a certain level you can get to know uh, you can just you know uh, contact them okay sir you have done this project okay, can you give us some brief about it then you can just collaborate and then you can start writing you can collaborate with them and then start you know if you have a good interest on that particular project you can collaborate with them you can write a sort of extender project or we can say uh, uh, further improvement they can be, you know, uh, submitted as a proposal. Okay. So that way, uh, see, one thing is individually we can do, for example, research promotion schemes. We can apply our fellowships. We can apply and then get it. With through contingency amount, we can build the a research environment. That is one thing. Second thing is that we can go through funding agencies, summarize all the research problems, and then present to the department level, then go to the college level. Then we can come up with the some kind of proposals. It can be a individual uh, department proposal or it can be interdepartment proposal okay interdepartment proposal most of the time it will work okay because you know uh, some you know each has you know it's their own expertise right that definitely help that experience definitely help to the all the faculties so interdisciplinary will always work okay that's why we have to need to have collaborative so once to once you start collaborating with your department interdepartment level it will be easy for you to uh, collaborate with the college outside college, other colleges okay that way uh, you know what problem you will get and it is a you know kind of collaborate you have some good strength okay they have some good strength if you bridge the gap then it will can become a proposal okay 
that's why you know if you start doing exploring with the other colleges as well uh, those who are competent in there and you can join actually initially you can join as a co investigator or you know uh, investigator then you can start writing a, as an investigator that way you know you will keep a track of it and then you know it will be a uh, you know that is the easiest way to get into the uh, you know proposal next is research departments we can say you know it's a very high level okay chemical physical science and you know electrical electronics communication communication itself have plenty of vast syllabus it can be it or csc community picture mechanical system and you know uh, interdisciplinary and uh, computer science all all comes okay so why i am saying is each department has their own funding agencies okay so we cannot write a proposal to thermal power plant that okay you give me some mechanical proposal there, there may be a mechanical proposal but i'm saying just saying okay not ntpc maybe some other related uh, industry so that's why we have to go and search department level okay first we have to search for some general one that can, somebody can take off take care somebody can take care of you know department level that will be you know easy for us to get next is the for example focused areas for example now since so far we have been talking about uh, you know funding agencies department level now we are getting into slowly getting into the application level okay so which application we are going to use so, uh, means use case we used to say satellite communication wireless communication optical communication it is a broad topic under which you have a crores of uh, you know problems okay radio communication you know material science image processing composites for the mechanical especially and uh, civil okay and uh, synthesized materials this is common for all, almost all the department means except computer science or something like that artificially synthesized materials okay so these material department you know for example these problems can hold good for the uh, ece and uh, electrical and you know because for example each department we have we are dealing with some material right if we can synthesize artificially uh, in in antenna and all we used to call it as meta material and all that stuff okay so um, similarly you know uh, composite material nano materials and uh, piezo electric material like you know nano materials and biosensors like that so that will be a very great okay so then um, second thing is that uh, short range long range communications or ad hoc networks and then stuff um then then so now so far we have seen you know um, we are going to get some good input from the funding agencies next different funding agencies different funding scholarships that can be you know just list down now then we got into the department level we can formulate the problems department level then we are going to the focused areas okay this is what the communication in the department level itself i am going to work on the optical communication whichever is feasible to be out of this for example this is an example okay whichever is feasible to me i am going to work on that okay next is uh, and then then each application itself see image processing is a vast topic okay in that topic what i am going to do for example image processing itself has a vast topic a general image processing and you know for example whatever you we do in adobe that is also image processing right out of our whatever we do camera camera we have you know some sensors to observe you know for example change the face add some you know uh, smileys and the other stuff so those are all image processing okay so uh, it's auto correcting all that stuff for you know image processing applications what sort of images we are going to handle or what sort of images we are going to process for example radar image processing general image processing video in video we can take out the image and then process it that also there okay so that's why you know what sort of image processing we are interested in if you are uh, want to go for radar image processing we should have some knowledge on the radar okay without that we cannot understand what is going to happen that the, the image how image is being perceived how image is that next is use of optimization and other algorithms like you know this optimization and other algorithms it applies to all the departments okay it can be a mechanical it can be any, anything anyone no problem okay next is simple design methodologies so we can we can come see most of the time simple design methodologies will work okay so that's why we have to we should not think about all complex problems okay we should only think about you know 
simple de, uh, prob, you know, de, no, no, solutions so so design methodologies that will you know, solve our problems it will be easy for example flywheel technology i think uh, five or six years ago this was uh, you know very famous because flywheel te flywheel technology which is a free energy what they will do is they have a flywheel uh, wheels which is connected with one engine okay one diesel engine or you know motor okay this will these two wheels will be there two wheels will trigger four wheels okay like that four wheels will trigger eight like that so what we are getting is with a one uh, engine or one um, you know motor uh, energy we are able to generate double the energy almost double the not you know ideally it is double but you know it will not be 1.5 times or 1.6 times still it's fine it is free energy right that you know that's how we works and then you know efficient materials i think you know most of the time that the fly you know free energy you, can, you might have seen so, so much, some of the team you know the things like you know some of the uh, furniture shops they use for you know uh, uh you know tightening the you know bolt uh, like you know uh, tightening uh, like you know they're using uh, the uh, power tools At the same time it will also fill the air in the you know uh, thing so the w's they use okay simply that can be a good problem because um, you can just go and look at the you know for example you know nearby itself for example cycle uh, puncher guy cycle shops or any shop whatever problem they are facing if you come up with a some small simple solution also that can be a big breakthrough okay efficient materials uh, for the for example nowadays you know for example civil we are facing a lot of issues because you know material cost is very high if we can come up with you know lower cost efficient material that will be you know great thing artificially synthesized materials efficient communication technology multifunction function antenna design like the so just you know across the department i have covered next is type of proposal okay so what type of proposal we are just you know applying for one is project proposal okay project means see ISRO respond project. So they are, you see, they itself has a one project is running. ISRO respond, okay, sponsored response schemes. Okay, so there they have, you know, a uh, uh, list of requirements. They clearly define list of requirements. On upon, upon that, you have to just, you know, apply, forget, and get funding. Okay, that is project proposal. Okay, the search proposal is you can come up with some, you know, you might have seen, you might have found some problems that you want to solve okay um, or you know you can research and idea almost you know same thing and as a research uh, problem is for example some areas are you know already explored but i want to do further research on that okay then that way you can just you know maybe you know it can it need not be a product you know uh, the outcome of the uh, that is maybe need not be a product but it can be a good summary of that okay this research you know uh, have potential to have for example 6g they are talking about okay so the 6g uh, they are you know using a lot of life i can light uh, light uh, fertility communication and uh, you know they are going to use the uh, technology these are all research and they, most of them are in research okay no finite uh, you know uh, technologies you know it's not been concluded right that way you know you can just go and go through there and then find out the research problems catch it and then write a proposal next is innovative proposal or idea based proposal almost same idea is for example you know you want to you have some you know unique idea or you know you have a, done some innovations that is working perfectly or you know to some level i want to enhance that okay that is also a proposal we can that will very well agree then proposal for mou see that's why i was telling so a proposal can be within the department that you know madam okay so you can write a proposal that objective uh, for modernization of the electrical lab okay so wh why we go for that so problem statement okay or we can say background of the this proposal that you know we have so, so and so electrical uh, you know components but it's not sufficient to teach the students about the concept or so and so so we want to procure what we want to do okay why we want to do what we want to do uh, how we want how we we are going to do that's how the proposal should be why we got that's uh, that will be defined in the objective objective will be the problem statement sorry uh, proposal then background will give you why we are going for this proposal then you will formulate the description or you know summary of the research proposal then what will be the outcome of this that will be how uh, outcome of this and then how we are going to execute that that we need to clearly define 
outcome of this proposal okay we can come up with the, for example come up with the lab that can you know teach you know uh, efficiently teach you know the so and so concepts efficiently to the students okay that that can be an outcome we need always very we should be very careful about the objective background background these are all very important terms okay objective background and outcome okay that will drive you to the description okay that will definitely once you understand the objective clearly and background clearly okay once you come up with the background okay then uh, problem outcome you know then then you have to you know limit yourself to the some outcomes okay then description will follow okay it can be a joint proposal also for example you know you have industry contacts then they have some kind of thing requirements that which you would like to work you can jointly support submit the proposal and the proposal for faculty accommodation there are some schemes are there skill development education that's what i was telling okay skill development for example see uh, see uh, see ACT is trying want to ensure that that you know um, so whatever affiliated colleges are you know the students are getting you know almost same skill as that of other colleges right so they want to ensure so for that we can just you know write a proposal on this education column to get some funding and to enhance our student knowledge for example language labs okay similarly many many labs are available right that way so so far any questions okay okay so please tell me sir uh, 10 minutes before we close okay so that i can you know wrap up quickly okay sir proposal writing okay proposal writing is it's again an art basically okay it's an art so, so because you know i wrote proposal some three two or three proposal that you know my professor you know trained me like anything okay just you know i will write you know, i have might have written written thousand hundred times more than 100 times one paragraph okay so uh, so that's how it works okay we cannot come up with a problem one paragraph in one day or something like that so we need to think we need to refer a lot many things are required one is see original novel idea for example electric vehicle so when it started you know coming up before you know the electric vehicle was there for so many years but now it got picked up right so somebody was thinking that okay why don't we use this motor to drive this vehicle instead of having diesel engine right that is the original novel idea okay or you know for example one you know punjab uh, person uh, super engineer right you know for example what he did is there are plenty of cycles are being you know, uh, you know scrapped why we want to scrap that cycles i can fit some you know motor there ready by the whatever cycle you have just fit it and then you know uh, that with that fitting it will become a you know cycle plus electric vehicle okay there are numerous you know concepts like that so that should be the original novel idea right if you come up with some idea that for example solve your day-to-day -day problems or in nearby problems then that will be a good proposal basically next is based on literature survey not only literature survey literature survey means i mean to say that going through funding proper you know agents you know agency website and also the uh, clearly you know just you know go through all the proposals that has been already s completed and you know all you know for example they might have given some gist of it okay we have to go through all the proposals that way we will get a lot of problems easily okay you might have seen okay uh, you go to DST website or ISR response budget or any website you will just get the details clearly okay this is what the problem they are uh, see, this is what the problem statement they have done displayed over here against which so many people are you know submitted a proposal it's all openly available okay their research title that the project title under which they might have given some description what they got it and all that stuff are there in the online okay that is the easiest way to you know get familiar with the problems okay and solutions okay some sometimes solutions okay 
and no on top of that we have to go and read the papers conference papers journal papers books okay then it will be a you no know, you know and also you can just go through for example who is working on latest technology right you can go through some of the industry website as well to 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 find out okay they might have been cutting edge technology right so they might have given some kind of description uh, this is what we are working like that some somewhere they give also that also okay that we can catch up and then you know we can start writing proposal okay next is based on research this research means you might have done some phd in the sensor networks or you know composite materials or antennas or rf or whatever it may be right you know that what is the gap available right you might have done some work already now you want to further extend that work and then submit as a proposal next is requirement based requirement based means what is the current requirement what will be the future requirement for example okay current requirement is for example we can say that you know electric vehicles composite materials you know alternative uh, you know uh, you know sign of materials for the construction and for example you know antenna alternative for example you know devices devices gadgets alternative so all the future of how it will be so it will be a totally you know kind of uh, it's going to be a different world right so it can be a current requirement based or future requirement based okay next is based on technologies okay technologies for example uh, construction wise for example how we can you know if they use you know now they come up with some kind of you know brick which can you know uh, easily fill uh, which has a hole so it is lightweight and also but it can uh, hold a big thing and you know many many new new design methodologies right to construct uh, earlier no getting you know constructing apartment was very difficult but nowadays just you know putting concrete you know all the way and then you know completing it as soon as possible right next is industry based industry based means for example if you are looking for an automotive industry then well and good literally later mechanical industry or civil and you know civil related uh, construction related industry or you know iot industry or software industry sdr industry whatever it may be okay next is you know for example innovative way of teaching that should be you know, you know very good proposal because you know, most of the time we get a lot of funding even from itp as well if you can propose you can submit you know part, you know, part of the project proposal to the dst or somewhere you can uh, submit the part of the proposal to the ITP as well okay ITP as well ITP there is a you know education department is there many many uh, women engineering all has you know education column okay there you can submit a proposal that we need some funding to explore you know come up with you know easiest way of uh, teaching methodology that's how you know I think a few years back uh, you know yeah, I think uh, Singapore University or you know some Nanyang University or some professor came up with you know app that can teach them you know em uh, concepts okay you can build a app for example you know kick off current law voltage law or whatever it may be you can build an app then you know for example if you want to learn kick off current law how it works you have to visualize that in depth of you know how it works the you know uh, voltage and the current how current is getting added if you can come up with an app or you know web application based or you know or you know experimental you know device based or a portable device based for example ni has some co compact you know portable device that can you know through which it's a software defined radio software defined function okay um okay so there you know you can just you know uh, simulate all the experiment with the one equipment right okay for example earlier it was the traditional ways like you know you have to use different oscilloscopes or something like that to do some experiment right you have to need to have boards and other stuff they came up with a solution that all in one box okay so that's how you know how we can do an innovative way of teaching and then for example you know these are all the some of the you know, battery technology power system and other stuff okay next is literature survey okay literature survey is so how to do your literature survey that we need to do okay choosing a keywords filtering narrow down the ideas okay that we need to you know, we need to have some kind of idea that how we can narrow down the idea okay if we cannot come up with some project title day one okay we can come up with a day uh, project title and as well as the objective not from day one it will be it will definitely take a time to 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 come up with an idea so what we need to do is we have to go through the literature survey 
there you will feel okay first we need to understand what is going on what is the current problems what is the current solutions what is going on in our domain next so with that you have to key, put keywords and then search it next is filtering okay so for now see i cannot do for example someone is good in very good in programming someone is very good in maths someone is very good in you know uh, embedded systems somebody very good in circuits somebody is very good in composites materials somebody is very good in you know mechanical architecture something like that okay so i need to see which one suits me okay now i have to narrow down my ideas to the whatever uh, ideas towards my interest right that is very important next is cited articles okay if you can narrow down your ideas that will come when the practice okay narrow literature survey then choosing keywords then you know in that literature survey paper each paper has you know references references that references will help you to understand the what is explained in the top of the paper then patents it is very you know uh, patents also you know very good uh, you know uh, approach to to next is open source thesis now most of the thesis are available open okay even anonymous thesis you can just go through i think sodh ganga you can just find out whatever thesis you just read the thesis thesis you can proposals also somewhere something is available open open you can just you know go through those proposal go through the thesis both your project reports pojuras project summary that will definitely give us some idea right okay and uh, next is approaches okay see the proposal need not be a you know always be a experiment can be a simulation as well experiment fabrication method can be a method can be an algorithm it can be you know some kind of xyz outcomes okay or you know uh, details of outcomes okay some of the you know some outcomes may have some elaborated details and list of deliverables okay so see here you know i'm just you know coming up with the proposal i have just given you know for example how we can come up with the proposal idea next we have to do the literature survey then approaches okay we can you know uh, see see these are all the approaches will cover go as a title right for example so what i'm what is my methods i'm going to follow what algorithm i'm going to use what simulation strategy i'm going to use what experiment i'm going to use and what all will be deliverables in deliverables i will tell okay this will be fabricated or this simulation code will be provided to you or this source code will be provided to you or this simulation package will be provided to you or this method description will be provided to you that will be the deliverables okay we need to very clear about these things deliverables outcomes okay that way you know that's where we negotiate with the funding agency okay first is objectives we should be very clear next is background and then and uh, a description of the uh, solution then outcomes or results okay or what will be the deliverables and timeline is very important okay timeline the description itself will have you know many things like you know for example um, what is the idea is can it's a methods or algorithm or whatever it may be everything is mentioned there okay then schedule and descriptions it is very 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 important okay so because you know schedule based on quarterly basis okay that's how you know they monitor they may be getting you know report some agency will re- ask for report annually some agency will ask for report quarterly some agency may very rarely they will ask for quarterly also okay some may, some may ask for monthly also i don't know outcomes clear cut outcomes okay that is what you know that is a commitment right so we are we can write any proposal i can give you i you know tesla car tomorrow no right but it has to be you know for example 50% of the tesla car should be completed right that's how you know see outcome should be at least you should be able to deliver 50% otherwise it is very of no use okay that will not they will not appreciate that okay that's why the outcomes is very important okay next is estimation of duration and budgeting budgeting is very important okay so how many years you want to complete for example see for you some project may be thinking that okay it need 2 years to complete 3 years complete but the, those who are assessing that they will oh what is a simple project why do you want 3 years they will simply ask okay because their their level is maybe see nobody is inferior nobody i don't believe in that okay all are equal in equal i goes and everything 
one may have you know something in the you know edu- in, only in the technical area somebody may have very good in the professional like for example managing things in the home like that okay that's why we need to have uh, when i talk about something like inferior to so don't feel about that okay so they may think that okay why this project can com- can be completed in one year they will say definitely say okay there is will be argument okay? that's why they negotiate with the outcomes timeline budget these are the three points they will you know first is objective what is your project you are going to do next is outcomes timeline budgets these are the four items they will clearly look for they will negotiate with you and come up with the approving okay what number of years sometime now we should also have a proactively mention that okay two years only okay if it is complete it can be completed by one for five years but you can put two years and then you can manage it but if you for a project it can be completed in one year if you put three years then nobody will give you a project okay that is also there okay that's why it should, it should make sense before we submit we have to break you know review ourselves and by the other fellow colleagues and the department level and the college level we have to definitely look at that okay otherwise it's of you know uh, most of the time we will fail in this area okay is a planning is very very important but you know achieving that plan attaining that is very very important at least we should meet we try to meet 80 percent of it okay choice of line items for example you know you need to hire some jr of srf that is normal one okay next what travel may be required some equipment may be required some fabrication support may be required some procurement of small small simulation tool may be required some uh, stationery is required or like that you know we have to so compile in a decent way for example jrf is common line item travel will be for example if your uh, particular topic need travel visit the office or you know to get you know some kind of lab visits the labs for need you need support for the travel and other stuff equipment most of the time they won't support because you know equipment means for example fabrication we can say so somebody may need equipments for example mechanical engineers they may need some kind of a chambers you know uh, cut to fire produce some may need you know uh, equipment some may need you know uh, tools some may need you know fabrication support like that operator budget should be there okay see a jr of sr of no it is very well written in the their funding agency website that this much should be there we should not write you know for example 25000 may be eligible there might be you may be writing 40000 we cannot write as like that we should be very careful about the numbers which agency we are submitting uh, for example 25000 plus hra like that okay hra means some 8% some some is giving 8% some is giving 15% some is going 20% Accordingly, we have to be, you know, very thorough about the, the guidelines, okay. Their guidelines are, we should read before we write a proposal of these things and all. We should read the guideline, any template available. And guidelines also we should, we should go through, okay. Otherwise, you know, they will simply reject. If you fail in this area, right, for example, that so-and-so exigency is giving 40,000 funding to the uh, JRF, but you are writing 25,000, then they will simply strike off. The, the guy did not even read the guidelines okay that's okay they will have a template some funding agency will have template ready-made template where you have to fill in all these things okay some uh, and also along with that they will give you guidelines to fill that each and every part of it okay so we should go through them clearly and then come up with this proposal next is and you know facilities related to proposal that where that is where catchy things okay and also for example your publications facilities that you already have in your talk college that will you know get, let you get uh, uh, you know proposal through key equipment softwares we need to in detail mention these things okay experimental setups that we have otherwise you know see we may be having plenty of equipments we don't never expose to any proposal then that is of no use for example you are using some kind of uh, proposal sending proposal to the ec related proposal there you should emphasize that okay we have a series of scopes we have a spectrum analyzer we have a network analyzer with which we can do these things but we need some more like that you just you know explore that okay okay next is list of publication is very important as a pi copy i copy i is matters a lot Okay. that's why you know many colleges follow this tricky you know, shortcuts right 
so they put a pis as you know for example some uh, some guys who is having very good publications that is also good approach as well because for you know you to get started you can approach someone who is you know you can do the project by yourself but you can just you know uh, so that you know he will kind of a mentor to you okay he can be a kind of mentor to you to get the project right and also he will he should support as a pi or co pi he should support throughout that okay next is visibility in the field of interest how the visibility comes you have to visit the conferences you have to meet people express your thoughts ideas and other stuff exchange your ideas with this you know, those those are well known in the field that is how visibility comes simply you know uh, 9 to 5 will not work we have to go to the conferences we have to go good conference i am saying each field has their own dedicated conference if you go there they you will get a plenty of knowledge otherwise you know attending some colleges which nonsense figures they will co-host all the department for example you see vlsa antana rf electrical everything no so you no know, use okay you are it's a waste of money for you okay you have to f- put your paper in the specific conference domain specific conference for example national conference is the famous for the iits and the spcom is there for the signal processing each similarly for the antennas they have mechanical they have each you know department they have you know their own domain specific knowledge see for example each department has several fields right each field has their own domain specific conferences if you attend there you will get lot of knowledge you may get idea also there okay that's why i'm telling you and also you can express meet people and express your ideas sir i have this idea can you please support you see if you go and in person and meet him you may not be getting that opportunity for example somebody is working isro or somewhere they will come there okay or okay you cannot meet them in office their office okay you can simply meet there and discuss with him okay sir sir i am please take down their you know uh, mail send out a mail immediately that i am so and so met you this place just get introduced to you you that way you will get a visibility ah yeah this guy came from some college ex college okay yeah okay i remember him like that okay they will he clearly respond okay that's how you can also get to know about their problems also just go and ask them so what is your problems i am you know good in this particular area i have this uh, publications i have this records i have done this 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 then they will be uh, why don't you do some project for me they can they can come out and tell you you can ask them okay that's how we have to get the visibility ha ah, yeah that's what is may attending conferences give you it's a you know freest you know easiest way to get to know people okay so those are domain specific knowledge conferences no not too costly only the junk conferences are have costly 8000 10000 they charge they simply say that you will get published like that okay that is of no use if you do go and attend domain specific you know, conferences which is of you know mostly 2000 3000 4000 like that because they know they get funding in many places they will not charge much to the faculty or student okay next is meeting people getting requirement that is very good invite them for a lecture that is also another good thing you just invite them at least you invite them for a lectures sir please come for the lectures that you know he will spend whole day in your college because he can visit the facility okay he will get a clear cut idea that what you have okay if you send a proposal he knows who you are who, who uh, what is your college capable of doing if you give them confidence that yes sir we can do like that you know them in lectures they will help you okay that will definitely help because one day he is spending in your college or two days that is you know mesmerizing okay to get way of getting you know um letting him know that what your college is doing getting active mou that is very important so uh, so many people who sign so many mous left aside no use you have to get active mous with the industries most of them will do for nb accreditation that is of no use i am telling you long run it is very it's going to be you know stopper encouraging our guys to go for internships they will get, get you so many ideas so many research problems okay active participants supervisor supervisor should follow them clearly what is they are doing daily basis you have to take update definitely you will get a good knowledge on that feasible problems from the active industry persons you know you can interact with so many industry professionals then you can get to know about their problems 
then that will be a easiest interacting with scientists you know in the public sector and also the private sector ask them about problems explore about them how we can approach them you can go and attend the conference invite them for lecture either in the on conference you can express these things if you could not able to convince please ask them for you know you know invite them for lectures you can have plenty of time to convince them to explore you know get to know about their problems right and this is a you know simple idea that you know i got into you know that kind of time research corpus fund that scheme will definitely work you work and it will be a good uh, uh, idea for your you know nba as well you can just you know charge for example if you are have a faculty for example simple calculation i have just made 100 rupees per year is not a problem for any student okay because you know they are spending 100 rupees every day okay you can collect as a research fund you can keep it as a research corpus fund okay then then for example simple calculation i have given 500 faculties or 100 500 faculties 50 it will be 25k per month okay or you know uh, you know for 3 lakhs per year okay for 1000 students one year 1 lakh per year okay so you are getting 4 lakhs money that you know you will definitely use for the get procuring equipments procuring tools make them engaged okay over a period of time plenty of fund will be generated you can buy what you want this idea if you give them you know this idea if you tell that how while presenting to the you know for example if your proposal gets selected they will call for proposal uh, presentation that time you can tell tell them sir we got this funding through this funding we got this 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 we have enriched our research journey like this they will really appreciate that will help you to get funding okay if someone visits your college and then see oh great idea that that will definitely work it will be a good idea to nb as well okay then apart from incubation labs you can have a research forum lab you can have a sticky note some small room is dedicated for that discussion then you know put sticky notes this is all the funding agency you just put a sticky note there anyone you know the most of the people you know see you may be forgetting after one month or something oh research interest no interest whenever you look at the paper oh yes sir i have to apply for a proposal i have this funding agency lying down you know lying you know means you know lined up so that way you know you can trigger the you know research motivation to all of them list of funding agencies their details can be displayed in research room that room whatever lab i was mentioning and you know some kind of research team you can form a senior faculty or you know external industry person person then you who has some strong fundamental knowledge then faculty and the entry level faculty who will be actively working mid level faculty will give them guidance research guidance the high level will validate that whether you are going in the right direction or not senior mid level lower level faculty entry level faculty so entry level faculty will work along with the students then you know the you know though having some experience they will monitor and then give you ideas then and there then you can go to the senior level faculty to validate your progress and your whatever way you are going on research guidance team for one point communication that will be a good idea interdisciplinary project you know that is also you know uh, for example in this see it's all like you know for example <laughs> interact with others that's how it's a kind of teamwork this all these ideas will give you help you in you know, teamwork okay module by module approach that is also a good thing okay you cannot just you know hit the problem for example you having uh you cannot you know you can solve 5% of it module by module approach you can go and you know uh, uh, see simply putting copies doesn't help okay so we face that issue when so they will just you know give their name and then go off so you have to ensure that that copy is contributing effectively or not okay and uh, some group mail id you can sharing for information some information and you know uh, you know for example mod drop and all you know don't waste government's money for example some uh, vendors are coming for example you know equipment vendors are coming to the you and then they are telling that we can support you for getting funding that you know i that is not a good because i got a mail that okay they, we can get you funding from aict for the motorop and many schemes they know very well because they have to sell their equipments 
don't buy equipments just to keep it in the bureau okay i have seen you know when, when i was working in some college ex college there you know they just you know kept plant one crore equipment in bureau after some time it will fail license will expire then it will be of no use okay that kind of thing should never do and internal funder project you can encourage from the research corpus fund you can you know uh, allocate some 10000 for the each team you can uh, ask students to propose for, you know write a proposal and present to you present to the faculty and then you can you know you can evaluate whichever you know wins for example three proposals or four proposal you can fund them 10000 rupees or 5000 rupees from the research corpus fund it will be you know you know but for that you have to give a guideline okay these are all the research areas you have to work and this is the from this you find out let them do okay they will do definitely it will be good for them as well okay that will be a good thing then you know uh, you know use a proposal or you know for example out of those ideas if they if some team can do a wonderful job that can be a good uh, good for the proposal writing proposal or you know any you know publications and you know uh, i know monthly leaves letter for the within the department college wise engaging students in all activities that is very important engaging student is very very important you know industry talks and other stuff you know industry talks you know uh, you can invite industry people to talk for one hour to the students as well as the faculty and okay industry research professional and engaging students for summer internships and you know some some you know for many things are like you know visit for the near research institution and you know learn about that okay so uh, some startup uh, culture right so for example you know ola uber cook right okay these are all they were all startups right so uh, see, so and you know these are all the inspir- inspiring sto- stories right you can tell to your students that you know they can come up with some startup ideas and then you know uh, and smart india hackathon is one you know platform where you know our students can you know rocket okay that also good visibility through the college okay okay consolidating this whatever i was telling is like you know kartalo bodai thutukal so whenever there is an opportunity we have to grab it otherwise seivana thirundachai that is very important because you know for example if you write a proposal in one week then that is going to fail okay கட்டுறது கைமண் அளவு கல்லாது உலக அளவு திட் அப்ளைஸ் டு எவ்ரி ஒன் தட் மீன் இன் டு வெரி கிளியர் ஓகே தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் எல்லாம் எல்லாம் நன்மைக்கே தட்ஸ் ஆல் ஃப்ரம் மை சைட் and you know sir 